we have a no cooling call. Customer, I recognize his name. He said I changed out his coil in April, maybe. Yeah, April. And he said he's not cooling. So we are going to go over there and see if something has happened to my coil or if something else has happened to the system. I remember the guy's name really well. Um, I'm normally not good with names, but I remember his. And I can't remember if this is a mobile home or not, but we'll find out when we get there. All right, guys, I left my phone in the truck and went in, in the attic. So the uh, do, the symptoms were nothing runs, no, no blower, no condenser, no nothing. Went up in the attic and found a uh, blown low voltage fuse. My short pro tool is missing in action. Makes it really hard to troubleshoot a low voltage short, but he told me he hasn't ran anything but cooling. Kind of gave me an idea that this contactor might be bad. I have the meter set to ohms. The, the resistance across the contactor call should be between, but be between 10 and 20 ohms. Let me show y'all what we got. So I'm gonna try to do this. I got. I have both my hands, but I got to be able to let y'all see the meter too. Trying to wedge this one in there. There we go. Wait. Oh, it checks out now. Well, earlier it was acting all crazy. I was getting all kind of killer ohms, and now I'm getting, I'm getting about 19 ohms. So. Earlier, it was bouncing all over the place. Um, but I'm almost confident that that's, that's going to be the issue. Uh, kind of worried now, though, that it's not doing it anymore. Okay, so that contactor, it would read about 18 ohms. Then it would shoot to kilo ohms. So I'm pretty sure... That's gonna be the issue. So I have a new fuse right here. And I'm gonna slide this in to the board. I have the contactor disconnected. And if I kick this breaker back on and the fuse doesn't blow, I'm pretty confident it's gonna be the contactor. The fuse did not blow. And the blower's on. Okay, because he had his thermostat set on cool. I'm very confident that we have a shorted out contactor coil. Because it was reading kilo ohms. And then it would start reading uh, 18 to 19 mega ohms. Which is right at the, the, the mark of 20. So I'm, I'm very confident that the contactors are culprit because I have it disconnected right now and the blower's running. So I'm gonna put this air handler back together real quick. Goodman air handler with stripped out screws. So I remember this job. Uh, he's a really nice guy. And he actually found me here on YouTube. And uh, I wanted to change the entire system because it's not in, I mean, it's not in horrible shape, but it's it's not in the best shape either, but he's on fixed income and uh, he, it just wasn't in the budget. So we did the, we, got, we stopped this Freon leak and uh, you know, that helped him out a lot. Now we just gotta get this contactor replaced. I'm also gonna check his capacitor because the unit is, an 07 so that ca that capacitor is probably weak as hell all right guys i'm soaking wet the rain got me uh i did not finish the contactor i got everything hooked up except the high voltage coming in from the whip i just 
I got the top done. I got the low voltage done and the contactor pulled in. It did not, you know, short out. So that was definitely the problem. And then it started raining so hard I couldn't even see. You could see my window right here. Uh, okay, but while I got y'all here, here's the old contactor. It's the, uh, it was even breaking right here. This piece was breaking off. And uh, the coil, I think I'm getting a mixed reading because it's rusty. But the points look great. The point, the points are fine. For some reason, I was getting like it was bouncing all over the place, like kilo ohms. So I'm gonna read it again for y'all right here while we're in the truck because I didn't get to show y'all the reading. Okay, so I got them in there, and right now it's reading 18.3 ohms. But if you move, let's try the other two same thing but see like right there when I do it like that I'm trying to try to get y'all a shot of it it just it depends where you place it but this contactor coil is no good but you see right there how it's bouncing all over the place What is that? I can't see that. What is that? Two fit C, three something, and that's all kilo ohm. So it's uh, it's definitely the contactor that's the issue because when I hooked up the low voltage wires to the to the new contactor, the contactor pulled in, and I, I pulled it off, put it back, it pulled in again, so it's not blowing the fuse. So the contactor, it was definitely the culprit. Okay, guys, it looks like I might have enough slack. Uh, it's just a s slow, slow rain, but I'm going to go run and finish it real quick, and I'll I'll try to take y'all with me. All right, guys. I think that's just coming off the soffit, but it's not raining hard. I think I can finish this up real quick. Man, and I left the disconnect pull out in the truck. I brought it in the truck so it wouldn't get wet. And I put the cover back over the unit. So all I gotta do is hook up the whip down here and then put the disconnect in. You can hear the contactor clicking. Definitely the culprit. I'm in a tight spot, gentlemen. Goodman, they don't do it anymore, but they used to put their contactor so low. They finally moved them up higher on their new units. I could have moved this one. I've moved them before. I really wanted to check this damn capacitor too, man. Because that's just going to cost me another service call. I know this thing is probably weak. This is a three-ton machine. It's a 35.5. It is the original. It's that old Chinese uh, broad ocean capacitor. I think this is... I don't know if it says broad ocean on it, but it's something like that. Okay. All right, guys, let me go see if I can grab my meter and uh, grab my meter and the disconnect pull out and check this capacitor real quick. All right, guys, I'm checking the capacitor real quick. It's 35.5. Yep, it's coming up at 21.
It's a 35 slash five. And it's only putting out 21. I'm gonna set up my common pin. There we go, now I can show y'all. There we go. 21.76, so we're gonna change it. Okay guys, we got a fresh 35.5. We go from common to hermetic, hermetic. We got 30, let's get some of that, here we go. 36.3, and then common to fan is 5.1, I'll take it. Okay, so we're gonna mount this one in place. Always try to leave the size visible. I'm also gonna date it. All right, today's the 15th. All right, I've dated it and I put my initials on it. This is my common. This is another common, that's from the fan motor. And this is my Hermetic Hermatic and my fan. Okay, now we're gonna button her up. Put the door back on. disconnect it and she should run yep all right I'm not gonna check the charge because of the weather and also the fact I just changed out the coil give it a second to settle down She's back online. I'm gonna feel it. Yep, suction line's starting to cool off. All right, guys. I think that's it. Oh, I'll just love working in the rain. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.